What is today? June. June 5th. No, it's July 6th. 1994. Hey everybody, welcome. AJ here and uh, I'm diving into this project. I've been waiting quite a while to do this because it's really personal to me. My father died uh, years ago from a long battle with cancer. Um, he had leukemia and um, he opted in for a bone marrow transplant, which is a really ris risky procedure when you're older like he was, and unfortunately he didn't make it. I felt like it was time that I could like move through some of this stuff. Mainly when I say my dad's stuff, I'm referencing uh, his photographs. My dad was a photographer as well as a medical doctor. Since it's summer, I have a little extra time to work on some of my art projects. And one of the things I feel like I'm finally ready to do is to dive into some of my dad's photographic work. My dad was a psychiatrist, so he helped a lot of patients. And he had a lot of different areas of study that came along with that. So there might be stuff related to that in here as well as I go. So my dad was a very interesting person. And I definitely grew up in an environment with my father that was probably very different than how most people grow up. If anyone has ever grown up with doctors, maybe you get it. But my dad is from a family of doctors, and his dad was a doctor. I was really fortunate because when my father was sick and he was waiting his bone marrow transplant, he was at Penn Hospital in Philadelphia. And at the time I was in college and relatively close in the city. So I really got this kind of personal time with my dad that other people in my family didn't have. And it allowed me to like kind of connect. And we got these kind of one-on-ones uh, for a number of weeks, which was really cool because um, being so close, I was able to like just walk over there after class and meet with them and hang out. And um, you know, it was one of those things that, like, as our family was going through this, we never really thought anything much about the transplant. We we just assumed it was going to be okay and things were going to go well. And um, no one ever thought that he wasn't going to survive the operation. And, um, you know, just kind of like a hard thing to reckon with for any of you that have gone through something similar with your family. I'm sure you understand. But like I said, he left me all these great photographs that I want to go through and check out. My father was a very avid traveler. He loved traveling, he loved taking photos, and he loved doing whatever it took to get like the shot. I'm sure if any of you that do photography or have family members, as you do photography, you, you kind of get the, the gist of how this goes. Um, you kind of just are, it's like you're called to get the, the shot and do whatever it takes to get it. My dad was very much like that. Um, my dad really liked going out west, out to Colorado and New Mexico and Arizona to photograph. He loved these big landscapes. He was a really big fan of Edward Weston. And one of the things I did with my father when I was growing up is the way we bonded is we would go out on these like photo expeditions and we'd go around and take photos of things together. And it was really like this kind of connection that, that I had with him that other people in the family didn't. So photography and like visual arts have just been like a big strong connector for me and my father. But the other thing that both my dad and my mom were really passionate about was art and giving me and my brother and my sister the opportunities to like experience art, learn about art, and understand the importance of art and the power of art. And that's one of the reasons I became a creator, I think, is just being immersed in that kind of world and having those opportunities. I realize now much older as I am that most people never had those opportunities. And I'm really fortunate for that because like I said, my parents really valued art. So we were always around art. We were always around great photography, great music, was always playing in the house. Like we would watch films together and talk about films as art, not just entertainment. So it was just like a really great experience for me being someone that's creative now. And um, you know, after he died, there's a lot of stuff that goes along with that for any of you that has ever lost a loved one to cancer or any other kind of like form of a disease like this is that there's a mainly it was left up to like what was going to happen with a lot of my dad's stuff like uh, he had a will but it wasn't like really detailed 
Uh, luckily within the will, he left me all of his photographs, including his dark room. So it's been a long time, but I feel like I'm really ready to finally like, dive into some of his photographs and go through some of this stuff. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I know he took a lot of really great landscapes. He did a lot of portraiture, um, abstract stuff, all kinds of interesting things. So it's gonna be like really like, kind of like open up a can to see what's here. I'm sure there's gonna be family photos, all kinds of cool things. I, I don't really know what to expect with this or what kind of feelings or emotions it's gonna bring up for me. But I do feel like I'm in a good place to do this finally now. So what I did to start is I, um, Got in my car and I drove out to Lancaster, which is about an hour from where I live in Harrisburg. And I dove into my storage unit where I have all this stuff kept. Um, another tough subject to deal with, but one of the reasons I have a storage unit out there is because I went through a divorce a number of years ago. And I needed a place to put a lot of my stuff. And uh, I rented the storage unit and behold, that's where my father's photographs landed within this. So. It was really tough just to go through some of those things. For any of you that have gone through something like that, you probably realize there's a lot of emotions connected with, with things that you shared with a former partner. But you know, I dove through it, I opened up the storage unit, and I was kind of digging through everything. And I found a couple of his boxes, luckily, in the front. Uh, there might be more, but I just grabbed that. I figured this was a good place to start. I don't really know what's in them or how they're ordered, but as I go through these photos and Kind of look at them i'm going to scan them i have a really nice epson photo scanner that i can scan slides and negatives into and i'm going to be using this program called silver fast the newest edition and i think i'm going to get a lot of really nice quality stuff and it's going to be cool i thought this would be a great way to document it and kind of like share some of the things i find as well as i go through because i just don't know what to expect with this but i think there's going to be some really cool things in here my, my father was a really great photographer and very talented so i'm excited to see uh, what we find. So I pulled out four boxes, I threw them onto this uni cart and I took them down the hallway and out to my car and loaded them in the car and I took off and just ready to jump into this today and uh, as I go, as any of you have done this kind of work before, have done slide or photo scans, this is going to be like a really long project but I think it'll be fun because I can like kind of like document it as I go and kind of release it as moment to moment. I don't really know how I'm going to do this as like a format yet. And I'm just going to start with this one box randomly. I don't know what's in it. don't know what to expect, but um, it should be pretty cool. The other reason why it's taken me so long to really dive into this project is there's lots of like members of my family because my dad remarried later in life and then after that he got divorced and then he had like kind of like a third family so there's really three families that are connected to my dad and his his work with photography and his life so I wanted to wait a long time after my father died everyone handles grief differently and I didn't want to feel like I'd be stepping on anyone's toes by starting a project like this until a lot of time has passed and there has been some like you know Time for people to grief and, and kind of move on and I feel like now is a good time because it's been over almost two decades now since my father has died so it seems like a, a pretty good time to just jump into it I feel like I'm ready to jump into it now and I have a little bit of time but before I don't think I was really quite ready to do this but like I said this might bring up some emotions for me I, I, don't, I just don't know what to expect it might bring back some memories when I was younger because there's gonna be photos in here of me as a child, possibly. And I also think it's just gonna be really awesome to go through here and work on some of my dad's photographs. You know, just like um, have the opportunity to work on another photographer's work that you admire, thus being my dad. It's just like, it's a really cool thing. So I'm also just like really excited about that and kind of going through and picking selects that really move me, you know. Um, it should be cool, and I think there's going to be some photos in here that I'm going to recognize that had just been hanging up in the house when I was younger, and I think that's going to be a really cool experience too. So I'm just going to kind of talk about all that and document it as I go through here, and you guys can come along for the ride and check it out, and uh, I'd love your feedback. I'd love to hear down below what you think of the photos, what do you think of the processes, have you done something similar like this? Like, I'd love to, to hear from all of you. Um, I hope you like this project. Like, subscribe below, follow along. This is just the start. I'm just getting set up. 
And I'm gonna start with this very first box, this very first carousel next to me. And I think I'm just gonna do it a carousel at a time or like a batch of photos at a time and do little mini kind of segments and talk about it as I go. And within that I might document some of it, I might show you some of the things I'm doing, some of the processes. And I'm gonna talk about the images a little bit, if they mean anything to me, if I don't know what they are. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool. So tune in, check it out. So thank you, and uh, we'll see what we get. Well, see you later. Okay, goodbye.